This is everything you need to know for eighth grade math, part eight. So we're talking about the slope formula and the slope formula is just M, which stands for slope, equals Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1, okay? So the X and the Ys come from our coordinate pairs that were either given in the problem or that we find on a graph, okay? So let's do an example to show you how to do this. So it says, find the slope of a line that passes through one five and three eight. Okay, so they give us two ordered pairs. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna label this first ordered pair as x1, y1, and then the second ordered pair as x2, y2, okay? So notice now all we have to do is just match each number with its corresponding y2, y1, x2, or x1, okay? Really simple. So our slope, or m, is gonna be equal to y2, which is eight, minus y1, which is five, over x2, which is three, minus x1, which is one. Okay, so now we have that the slope is equal to eight minus five over three minus one. Now we just do the math. So eight minus five is three over or divided by three minus one is two. Okay, so that means that our slope is equal to three over two, or you could convert that to a decimal and say that it's equal to 1.5. Okay. Now, a little bonus tip, since our slope is three over two, you're also gonna learn that slope is rise over run on a graph. So that means that three would be our rise and two would be our run, okay? So we'll be talking about that in the future. So I hope this video was helpful. If you wanna see more like this, go ahead and follow this account, like this video, and leave a comment. That way my videos show up in your For You page later on. We'll see you next time.